All right, the governor's order today didn't close down all the stores and shops. In fact, some smaller ones are still open and trying to get the word out because that's the only way they're going to make it and survive. WMER 2 News Abby Isaacs with a story from a shop in Falston. Springtime usually means busy time here at Log Cabin Chocolates. Easter candy production is in full swing, but they're having a little trouble getting the message out that even with everything that's going on right now, they're still open. You know, you never know what's going to come at you in this life, and you just got to take it day to day. Allison Borsella reopened the family business two years ago after her uncle retired. During their usually busy season, they've seen a decrease in sales with the spread of COVID-19. Coconut egg, if you got a big coconut egg, do you have? Big coconut eggs are coming out tomorrow. tomorrow. I have small okay. coconut eggs today. But because Log Cabin Chocolates is licensed as a food processing plant in Maryland, they fall into the essential category and can stay open, with lots of precautions, of course, social distancing and sanitizing. And now they just want people to know they can still come in and get their candy. The odds are already stacked against you as a new business owner. Um, sometimes you have to look at challenges. You have to find loopholes. You have to find opportunities. You have to find friends, um, people that are willing to support you. You know, we all have a village out there, and it's just a matter of, of uh, depending on them. You know, so I think sometimes when things get harder like this, it almost gets better after you know after it. You look back and you're like, okay, so we you know we got through that, and what's what's next? They also just started a new website, so you can check out what they have to offer, call ahead to place your order, and then do curbside pickup if that's what you prefer. Otherwise, you can just walk right in during normal business hours. In Falston, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. All right, we'll be going to Falston tomorrow. That's great, Abby. Thank you. A lot of our local businesses need your help right now, so we are letting you know that we're open, Baltimore. Go to WMAR2news.com slash open. And there you're going to find stories impacting our local businesses as well as which restaurants are open and offering carry-out delivery. Let's all do our part to help.